Okay, guys, it is August 2020, time for my monthly weigh-in. I stepped on the scale on August 1st, and this is what it said. Okay, 171.9. That is a loss of 1.3 pounds from last month, and I feel good about it. That's all I can say. I know for last month's weigh-in, I talked about how I really expected to be in the 160s this month. So in that respect, it kind of feels like I missed the mark, but in another respect, it feels like I grew by leaps and bounds. So if you remember, July 13th was my birthday and I had a ridiculous three day cheat day birthday extravaganza. You can watch it right here if you missed it. And I just ate all the carbs, all the sugar, all the foods that I wanted. It was originally supposed to be two days, but at the end of the second day, I realized that I wasn't satisfied with the things that I had set out to eat, namely Costco cake. So I decided to have a third day. That was a little unplanned. It was spur of the moment, but I had my cake on that third day and I went into a two day fast after that. And then I went right back to my regular eating schedule. And to me, that was just such a victory in itself in so many ways. It taught me so many things. Number one, it taught me that I can plan cheat days and stay on track until those cheat days. So up until that time, I was completely keto. I had gone over 120 days keto, which was just nuts. Honestly, I haven't really done that since I started keto. Secondly, I stuck to the plan of what I wanted to eat on my cheat days. It was very detailed. Once again, watch the video <laughs> for all the details. But thirdly, and most importantly, it taught me that I am just able to go crazy, go off track, and then get right back on track the way that I plan to and stay that way. And that is the biggest thing for me because I know a lot of us struggle when we go off keto, even if it's only supposed to be a day, it turns into a snowball week, it turns into a month, and then it turns into us essentially falling off the wagon and regressing so much further back than we intended to. And that's honestly happened to me before too. In September, 2018, I went on vacation to Minneapolis for a couple of weeks. And if you wanna be honest, I never really recovered from that. I never really got to a point after that vacation where I was full back to keto, committed for the long haul. It was like, oh, I'll just be keto-ish and float along. And then we all know in the beginning of 2019, I met my husband Richard. And so we just spent 2019 gallivanting across every restaurant in the greater Louisville metro area. And so it really wasn't until right after the wedding, March, 2020, where I was determined to get back and stay back on plan no matter what. And I'm just so proud of myself for actually doing that. And I'm so proud of myself for making it all the way to my birthday, the way that I plan and then getting right back on track and not feeling deprived and not feeling out of control and not feeling like it was difficult. Like I'm just so proud of showing myself that I have the strength to do that. For the month of August, I am doing a challenge called Carnivogist, where I am attempting to go carnivore for the month of August. I know I tried it a few months ago and it did not work, but I'm setting myself up for success this time. I am upping my calories. I'm giving myself a chance to feel more satisfied with the food and the amount of food that I'm eating. And I really, really think that going carnivore and cutting out the nuts and cutting out the Quest bars and cutting out all of those total carbs and things like that are really gonna help. And I am proclaiming right now, like I got nothing else coming up. I got no other birthdays, no other celebrations. In September, in this September weigh-in, I will be in the 160. So everybody set your calendar, okay? Be looking forward to that for the next weigh-in. But July definitely was a victory. And so, and in addition to all that, I had a crazy wicked cheat day and I still ended the month with a loss. Like 1.3, yeah, but like it could have been a gain. So I feel great no matter what. And I am excited to hunker down in August and I am excited to see where this journey continues to take me. Okay, how did you do in July? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next month. In the 160s, yes I will. Mm. Mm.